Can I ask you a question? Sure. Am I imagining things, or was that a tattoo I saw on you last night? It's a tattoo. Well, it was dark, and I might have just imagined things. I mean, there's no reason why. It's a tattoo. But... But what? But when did you do it? Last Thursday. Last Thursday? Right. But you didn't tell me. I figured you would realize it was there sooner or later. <sighs> but why did you do it? Fun. You got yourself tattooed for fun? That's right. <sighs> well, maybe that's not the kind of fun you should be having. Why not? Well, first of all, who did it? A guy. Well, that's why not. I mean, I don't think some strange guy should be working that close to that part of my wife. It was fun. For you or for him? For both of us, probably. <sighs> well, you see, that's what I'm talking about. That kind of fun, as you call it, should be only reserved for the sanctified boundaries of marriage. This is a blessed relationship. What about the blessed relationship between a man and his secretary? What are you talking about? Probably the same thing you're talking about. You mean me and Doreen? How many secretaries do you have? Well, only one, damn it, and she's a damn good one. And furthermore, I resent that implication. Now let's talk about that damn tattoo. Do you like it? Like it? What's to like? Well, does it bring to mind a particular part of my body when you think of it? Yes, as it, it does, as a matter of fact, and that's just a problem. Maybe for you. <sighs> well, well, what's the point? I mean, you didn't do it for me that much, I know. So who are you going to be showing it to? Maybe I did it for myself. <sighs> I can't believe that. No. Come on, Alicia. I'm not as dumb as you think I am. Well then, how dumb are you? It's just a joke. I look at you and I don't know what to think anymore. Why should you think anything at all? Well, because it bothers me to feel as though I don't know you anymore. You've become unrecognizable. Because of one tattoo? And a small one at that. It's not that small. Besides, we're not talking about how big it is. We're talking that it's there in the first place. Yeah. I showed it to Annie. What in the hell did you do that for? Why not? I suppose you told her you had it done by some stranger. <laughs> Should I have told her you did it? Oh, this is way out of control. Next thing I know, you're going to be taking pictures of it and passing them around to all the neighbors. took that? The tattoo guy. He's pretty good. Oh, this is awful. I can't imagine the worst thing than that. I'll be happy to look at your pictures of Doreen. Oh, my dear God. Who told you about that? The guy at the one-hour photo lab gave them to me. He thought he'd save us an extra trip. I don't know anything about those. Really? That's odd. You're in some of them. Oh, dear, dear, dear. We're gonna have to have a little talk. Really? Why? Well, about all of this. Honey, it's really not necessary. No? No. Oh, gee, I thought we'd probably have to argue it out a little bit. Not on my account. You may not understand this, but my tattoo's the best thing that's ever happened to me. Uh, I guess I don't understand. Well, it's given legitimacy to some of my more primitive instincts. Oh, my dear God. Does that threaten you? It scares the hell out of me. I thought so. You see, all these years, I've had to keep a part of me bottled up inside. I don't know why, really. I thought you'd disapprove, maybe. But then, 
So what? Who are you? I am your husband. <sighs> yes. But that doesn't automatically make you arbiter of what is or shall be. I think I, my judgment's basically sound. I'm an ethical man. <laughs> I'm sure Doreen would agree. Well, there you go again. If I'm hungry, do you mind that I eat? Why on earth would I mind? Well, I'm just asking. You have your answer. If I feel sensual, do you mind that I express it? Well, wait a minute. Hold on here. What are you talking about? <laughs> and why are you laughing? When I asked if you would mind if I were hungry, would I eat? You didn't demand to know if it would be tuna casserole or pork chops. So? When I ask about an expression of my sensuality, you demand to know the details before even giving an answer. When any other man would too. Don't you ever feel the need to express your sensuality? What are you talking about? Whatever you think I mean. If you think you're trying to trick me into saying something about me and Doreen. We're not talking about Doreen. We're talking about you. Your instincts. Your sensuality. Hey, this isn't a fit topic for discussion. Why not? Don't you want me to know of your private passions? Guys don't talk about these things. They just do them with their secretaries? There you go again! Haven't you ever wanted to, I don't know, wear an earring? Oh, well, why would I want to do that? For the romance of it. To be a pirate. A gypsy. People don't buy life insurance from pirates and gypsies. No. But women go to bed with them. You want women going to bed with me? I wouldn't mind that they wanted to. In fact, if you could be really honest about it, you'd probably appreciate the fact that the tattoo guy... What? Nothing. It's not nothing. It's something. When I first saw that thing, I knew it. You could have put that thing on your hand or your arm, but no. You had to put it where you put it. If I had put it on a public part, it wouldn't have been an intimate act. I'm gonna strangle you, I swear to God. I've been unleashed. The flow has been unlocked. I can understand that you might respond with antagonism. At first, at any rate. But eventually, I think you'll come to savor and appreciate this new aspect of my nature. I don't think so. I don't think so at all. I want you as a wife, not as a secretary. I mean... What do you consider a wife to be if not the ultimate manifestation of femininity? I just don't want to come home and find a new tattoo on you every five or six days. But doesn't it excite you to anticipate what I might do next? What sensual delicacy might find its way into our relationship as a result? <sighs> what if I uh, made an appointment for you to see someone? Mm. A monsieur who lives with? No. A psychiatrist who sells tranquilizers. I think I'd have a very bad time with that. It's taken me all these years just to find out who I am. I'd hate to be snuffed out before I have a chance to live. <laughs> chance to live? What do you call all these years we've had together? I'd rather not say. Get a tattoo. I don't want a tattoo! You could have a girl do it if you want to. Why on earth would I want a tattoo? So we could have a matched set. <laughs> I don't want a matched set. I don't want Emmanuel and a story of O. I want a wife, damn it. <laughs> uh, three square meals a day in housekeeping. An annual two-week vacation. And time off for good behavior. <laughs> Yeah. 
No. I want imagination, adventure, fantasy, rapture, and a roof over my head. You give me those, and I'll make sure you get your three square meals a day and housekeeping. I'm an old man. I don't know if I'm up to rapture. You're old because you want to be old. Well, what's wrong with that? I mean, you see kids being pushed into academic preschools and college prep play, play groups, and people say, let the kids be kids, for God's sakes. And I agree with them. But you, may, you let a man get a little old and develop some middle-aged spread and an inability to perform on command. And nobody cries out, let the old folks be old. You sound like you're one step away from the grave. No, I'm, I'm at the point in my life where I need rest, peace, and quiet. There was a time when a pair of black stockings and a well-placed tattoo might have aroused my interest, but I'm 40-something. It's in the past. It's just not on my agenda anymore. It's like my time with playing tackle football. It's in the past. Maybe we should get you a hospital bed. This way, when you have your little flings with Doreen, the IV and defibrillator paddles will be there to revive you. You're taking this way out of context. How so? When I'm with Doreen, it's for an hour at a time. It's a concentrated burst of enthusiasm and energy. It's not something I have to maintain week after month after year. But with my new tattoo. That's just it. I, that's what a man wants in a mistress, not in a wife. Well, maybe I should look for a man who wants a mistress. Well, there you go. You've come full circle. When I saw that thing, my first thought was that you'd been fooling around. That's the whole point. I haven't been fooling around, and I want to, with you. But you have to do your part. If I come to you in tattoo and heels, you can't respond with impotence and a middle-aged spread. I've got to be me. Well, that's fine. But who are you, really? I mean, is this you? I don't know who else it would be. If this is you, then who is it that's paying visits to Doreen on Thursday afternoons? Because it ain't the same guy as far as I can see. And how come you never took pictures of us? You're my wife, for God's sakes. That's right, and I haven't joined a cloistered order. You have a duty as a husband to keep me what? Happy. I never heard anything about that. Why do you think people get married in the first place? To provide targets for each other's frustrations? To take the blame for what's not happening for them? You have some responsibilities here that go beyond paying the rent and deciding where we're going to vacation every year. <laughs> the only thing about wife that I ever knew was that you had to be careful around her. Where'd you get an idea like that? From my dad. He was always sneaking around on my mom. Why do you suppose he did that? She was a lady. Well, I'm not. And you don't have that problem with me. Yeah, but this relationship is sanctified. Right. And if you think that means, in your love, in your vow to love and cherish, that you can wrap me up and put me on a back shelf somewhere like a, a fragile little museum piece, you had better consult the dictionary. Well, I'm sorry. Everything I've ever heard or read says that what you're talking about happens before marriage, not after. I'm just trying to be a good boy. Waste of time. Besides, we'd probably argue about your definition of good. I want stability. So do I. I just don't want to have to worry about what's going to happen next. Me neither. Let's just leave things well enough alone. 
but we can't. I have this new tattoo. <sighs> Remember the first trip we took to Hawaii? What about it? Remember how excited you were when you first came up with the idea to go? Yeah. Well, your excitement and enthusiasm were contagious. And pretty soon that was all I could think of. We're going again this year. <sighs> That's not the point. The point is, there are some things about women that excite you. And you never share them with me. Never make me a, a part of them. And by cutting me off, you turn us into a living arrangement, not a marriage. You just don't understand. Every time I ever showed an interest in anything like that, I was punished by my mother, by my fifth grade teacher, Mrs. Sims, and by a whole succession of girlfriends in high school. But not by me. By the time you came along, I I learned my lessons well enough to keep things under the table, so to speak. I'm sorry that your instincts were tromped upon. But I expect you to differentiate between your wife and your fifth grade teacher, Mrs. Sims. We both have entirely different expectations of you. Oh. Yes. Oh. We've been married for four years, don't you think it's... I think it's time that you learned what's expected of you. Well, I'm always willing to listen. It is the one thing about you that's kept us married this long. First off, no more photo shoots with Doreen. Oh, yeah, of course. That's in the past. No more of that. Not with her anyways. Okay, right. Do you want me to fire her? Only from her romantic obligations. You can keep her as your secretary in the strictest sense of the word. Well, I guess you want me to lose a little weight. Why do you say that? Well, look at the way I look. Lose a little weight. I guess I could start working out at the gym. I could go with you. We could work out together. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I guess so. Uh, well, uh, what else? What else would you like? Well, I guess we could arrange to spend a little time together. What do you mean? Well, you know, sensual time. With your own wife? <laughs> I'm just teasing. Well, maybe I need to get a little tan. What do you think? It wouldn't hurt. I'd like that. Well, that'll do for starters, huh? You're almost there. Oh? Is there something else? Did I forget something? What did I forget? I want you to get a tattoo. And guess where? <laughs>